Listen up, Red Wings a go tonight, 1800. Going in with a four-man team, Axelson, myself, Dietz, Marcus. The objective of this mission is to capture and kill Ahmad Shah. That's more than 10 guys. That's an army. It's feeling like a cursed op. It's just Afghanistan, that's all. Hey, can you see this? What are you thinking? I think we're about fixing to get into a pretty good gunfight. Rolling. Roll, please. E-mark. Action. When Hollywood came around knocking, they said, well, we want to make it into a film. I was so apprehensive about it. When we come up on the guns and we start firing, I'm not firing my weapon to protect myself. I'm firing my weapon to protect you. Then it's about, hey, man, we got to get through this, not I have to get through this. I admire him that he wants to let people know these were my buddies and this is what we went through. To look into the eyes of a father who's lost his son, to know that you're going to be held to a certain level of expectation by that family, this really was bigger than a movie. Can you fight? I can fight. I can fight. Mark Wahlberg came up to me and took my arms and looked in my face and said, we are going to do the best we can do to honor these men. I want you to know that. I care about you. I care about you. I care about you. I care about you. I've never been involved in a film where the actors felt such a strong sense of responsibility to honor the characters that they were playing. Marcus, never out of the fight. This kind of a movie reminds people the sacrifices that go into maintaining a country that's free and democratic. It's about brotherhood. Danny! No matter how bad it gets, you keep fighting just to protect the guy next to you. We're moving! Roger that! It's about team commitment. Come on, let's go! And finding a greater strength as a team oh, we're good. than you could ever find as an individual. And the guns! Of course you're happy that the story is gonna be told. Let's move! Let's really move! But I had no idea that it would have such an impact and be so inspirational. Ben Foster, after we saw the movie, I said, Thank you for giving my, me my son back for a few more hours. And we can be heroes Just for one day Bel video, vero? Mm, allora, oggi la novità è che Ant-Man prende il posto di Batman vs Superman, ok? I Marvel Studios hanno infatti approfittato del rinvio di Batman vs Superman al 2016 per anticipare la data di uscita di Ant-Man e fin qui, ok? Spostando quindi la pellicola di due settimane, no? Dal 31 luglio al 17 luglio 2015. Da parte sua, Warner Brothers non a caso, aveva deciso di rinviare il proprio film nella data prevista da Marvel Studios per il lancio di un progetto ancora senza titolo, ma che molti credono uh, sia Doctor Strange. Ok, tutto chiaro? No? Confusi? Eh, lo so, mi sa che ad Hollywood, ad Hollywood amano molto giocare a scacchi. Comunque, per rimanere aggiornati su tutte le nuove mosse, voi mettete un bel mi piace sulla nostra pagina Facebook, Anteprima Cinema, e noi ci rivediamo al prossimo video. Ciao!